Hey chicas, it's time for the breast oil mix. It's time Okay, so we are in my kitchen. If you remember, it is not the best lighting. There's no natural light, so we're gonna have to deal with this as it is. Let's start with the ingredients for the breast oil mix. Olive oil, black seed oil, fenugreek seed, fennel seed, and I also like to use flaxseed oil. In addition, you will need a jar, the pot that you use for all your DIY fun stuff, and the strainer. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is actually fill the pot with some water. Okay, now that it's all filled, we set that to the side and we have a clear bowl which we are going to put all of our ingredients into. So for the olive oil, a bit of the black seed oil. And for my mix, I am never precise. I just pretty much do as much or as little as I think. But if you want measurements, I'd say do about this much. Okay, and then for the flaxseed, I have capsules. You can, of course, use the regular flaxseed oil, but I have the capsules already. So I put in two capsules every time I make my mix. Now that the oil's there, what I'm going to do is turn my hob on, put it on high so that it boils. For the fenugreek seeds and the fennel seeds, I put about maybe one of these spoons each. One spoon, one spoon, and then just give it a slight little mix. These two capsules, Peraria Marifica, and the other one is a mixture. And just throw it in there. That's the oil all together. And now I just am going to boil it on the hot water. Peraria Marifica. I talk about this in the herbs and supplements that I like to use video. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Nasty. Talking about you, Mick. So I basically stir and I'm going to keep this on for about 15 minutes just so that all of the ingredients can really steep in the oil. Now this oil, which is in a pure honey jar, has literally been there for months. So this is highly concentrated oil, which is fabulous because it has all of these wonderful ingredients in there that have just been stewing in the oil. What I'm going to do is mix these together and this will be my final oil for when I do my next massage. Now I would recommend doing something like this. It's good to put a little to the side and steep it for as long as possible so that you have a highly concentrated oil. But I understand time constraints, so when we are under a time constraint, the best thing to do is the method that I'm showing you today. It's been about 15 minutes now, so it's time to turn off the flame, add my steeped oil, in with this one. So I'll mix that together and then what we're going to want to do is extract the oil only without the seeds. And to do that of course we need a strainer. So this tingy I'm just pouring it gently so that I can make sure all of the oil gets into my jar. 
and you can see it draining straight in there. Now that the oil is all out, there's one final step that I do. Realistically, at this point, you can call it done. You've got your oil, you can use this to massage every single day, but we still have these seeds. You can blend these up and add them to a breast cream, which is what I'm going to show you now. So the only way it's going to work in a blend is if the seeds are boiled or if they sit in water enough to make them less seedy and more capable of blending. So I'm going to add them into the water. I'm going to let them boil and soften a bit and then I'm going to stick them in a blender. The oil's been set just for a few minutes, just to settle a bit. And now I'm going to do the absolute final step. Mick uses this beard oil and he always has these leftover bottles and this is actually the one that I use. What I like about using something like this is I am able to use the pipette to pour the oil onto my hand. I'm going to go ahead and pour and I can either do it by using the pipette which takes ages or by carefully pouring the oil into the jar, which can be messy. Okay, after a little bit of a mess, the oil is now filled to the tippity top of this wonderful bottle and it's all ready for me to go and use it for my breast massage. The leftovers that I have remain in this jar. I pretty much keep any jar that is glass and comes from a lovely source. Like so if I have honeys or any kind of oils, my coconut oil I keep and it's for these purposes. Now if we go over to the seeds that were boiling, you can see how they have opened up. They are now ready to be blended. So let's do that. What I do is I just pour the water and the seeds, all that steam, mm -hmm. and these seeds are the good stuff. This is what I'm going to blend up. So I pour all the seeds in there. And I even will use a little bit of the water, this stuff here, just so that it blends a little better. This is my final mix with the fennel seeds and the fenugreek seeds all blended up and creamy. So what I do with this is put it into a jar. Glorious. It's the fennel. Mmm. It smells so earthy. This is my cream. So now what I have is a breast cream and a breast oil all in recycled glasses. When I go ahead and do my massage, I massage with my oil first, and then after the oil, I use this bust cream. And then finally, I will use this homemade paste cream thingy, and I will mix it with this. I've been liking it, so I will link it, hopefully. I don't know if you can get it. I literally got it from my local health food shop, so I'm not sure if it's a local brand or if you can get it somewhere else, but I'll try and link it for you anyway. For storing, what I would recommend is to store the paste in the refrigerator. It's nice when it's cold anyway, so I would do that. For the oil, I just leave it out. I keep my oil on my coffee table on the bottom part because that's where I do my Nougal and my Bosom Beauty. And that's it, preciouses. That is my breast oil mix that I create myself. As always, if you found this video helpful or interesting at all, make sure that you give it a like and go ahead and press that subscribe. I'm encouraging you to massage, massage, massage. Shots, shots, shots. Love you. Bye.